Hello, everybody. We are back with another visual pattern challenge. So here is our visual pattern. We've got these sort of growing diamonds of Cheerios or maybe um, uh, spaghetti loops. I don't know. Here's step one. Here's step two. Here's step three. Here's step four, getting pretty big. Uh, and your challenge, if you choose to accept it, is to use your intuition about this to predict how many of these Cheerios or spaghetti loops in step five. And if you can, how many in step 43? And can you write a, an equation along the way that you could use to predict the number of spaghetti loops in any step at all? All right, if you'd like to try that, um, let's pause the video, see how you do. Okay, so let's try to gain some, some intuition about this pattern here. Uh, what I notice, first of all, is that it's getting big pretty rapidly. It starts quite small. There's just one here, and then suddenly there's four, and then a lot more, and then a lot, lot more. So it's it's expanding rapidly. So I'm suspicious that this is not going to be a simple linear pattern. It might be something more than that. Let's see if we can notice anything about it. Um, here, it's just a single solitary spaghetti loop. Here, I've got a row of two in the middle. That matches the step number. And then I've got one on either side of that. Here, I've got step three in the middle. And then I've got three on either side of that. Hmm. And here, I've got four in the middle. But then I've got three, two, one. So it's kind of matching all of the previous patterns before it and increasing the middle. That's a little confusing to me. So I think what I'm going to do is just analyze the numbers uh, first and see if I can gain some intuition or insight that way. So I'm going to write down the step number and the number of, I'm going to call them spaghetti loops. So the number of loops here. So in step one, we have one loop. In step two, we have four. In step three, we have uh, nine. And in step four, we have 16, if I counted that right. And Actually, now that I've written down the numbers, something jumps out at me very clearly. All of these numbers are perfect squares, and they, they match the step number, right? 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. So I think that's what's going on here. But let's go ahead and take the differences in each step just to verify. So 4 minus 1 is 3, 9 minus 4 is 5, 16 minus 9 is 7. And you can see we, we do not get a constant uh, in this first set of differences. So we know this is not a linear pattern. If these were all the same here, it'd be a linear pattern. But they're not. When they're not, it's good to take the difference of the differences. 5 minus 3 is 2, 7 minus 5 is 2. Aha. Now they're coming up the same. If the difference of the differences is a constant, then it's a quadratic. It's got an x squared in it somewhere. So that verifies what uh, I was thinking, but just by looking at these numbers, the 1, 4, 9, and 16. And now that I'm thinking along those lines, actually, if I stop looking at these as diamonds, I can look at them as squares, right? So here's a 2 by 2 square if we just look at it from this direction. Here's a 3 by 3 square. Here's a four by four square. So now this is making a lot of sense. So for step five, we should just have a five by five square and kind of tilt it a little bit. So this is five by five, and there would be five times five spaghetti loops in there, so 25. So I think in step five, we're gonna have 25 of these loops. And this, I don't think there's anything else we need to do to it for our equation. These numbers squared, the step number squared, uh, is the number of loops there. So our equation would be y equals x squared. And that works out for 1. 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. 5 squared, what we're predicting in step 5, is, is 25. So all of that works out. So that ended up being simpler than it looked at first glance. The last thing we need to do is simply figure out how many in step 43. And for this, we're just going to plug in step 43 for x. So y equals 43 squared. And that should give us the number of loops in step 43. And 43 times 43 is 1,849. That's a lot of spaghetti. Well, how did that go for you? Did you get that? 
let me know. Thanks, everybody.